My name is Marcus Harris. I'm a Chicago-based software and intellectual property attorney. My office has developed one of the nation's leading practices devoted to drafting, negotiating, and litigating ERP-related contracts with vendors like Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, Infor, and others. One of the questions that we see in our practice on a regular basis is, what are my options when a software vendor has misrepresented the functionality of the software? And in this situation, you've got a variety of options. I think first and foremost, what you're going to want to do is pull out your software license agreement and take a look at the software warranty. And if, in fact, whatever defect in the software or the misrepresentation actually reads on that warranty, you're going to be in a relatively good position to leverage a warranty claim against the vendor in order to get some sort of a resolution to the issue um, that is beneficial to you. If don't have a warranty claim, you've got other options, and I think one of the options you need to consider is trying to negotiate some sort of a resolution with the vendor. And now this may involve you purchasing um, professional services or consulting services in order to modify the software to get it to do what uh, you thought it was going to do, or the way the vendor represented um, it would work. If the vendor is unable or unwilling to do that, you need to give serious consideration to engaging a third party uh, to modify the software so that it works the way you want it to work or it works the way that the vendor said it would work. Um, and I think you also need to give serious consideration to having a good um, portion of any fees associated with that being paid by the vendor. If the vendor is unwilling to allow a third party to access its software, um, you need to think of some of the other options that might be available to you. And I think one option and it's typically not a very viable option for licensees, is to return the software and then seek a refund from the vendor. Um, if that's really not workable, I think you need to then give serious consideration to suing the vendor for damages. Um, certainly not an ideal situation to be in. Um, if you're going to do that, some of the typical claims that are brought against software vendors in this situation are things like fraudulent inducement, um, negligent misrepresentation, breach of contract, certainly, and breach of uh, express and implied warranty. Um, and there, there are a variety of others as well. Um, but I think you know, if you go with some of these options, um, I think you, you may be in a, a situation to successfully resolve whatever issues um, that uh, have presented themselves. Um, if you have any questions about any of the issues raised in this video or any of the issues raised in any of the other videos that we have, please feel free to give our office a call at 312-263-0570. Thank you.